guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Anushka if you're new here. So today we're going to be reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Concealers. There needed to be a review on the Fenty Concealers on this channel and I was going to buy them but the, their team were really really kind to send some shades over. Um, I've got four shades that I'm going to just swatch and show you guys just to give you an idea of a few shades in the 300 range, the tan range. Um, I use 330 in the foundation and I also do have the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Cashew and I have tried it yesterday, I've only tried these once to be honest, just to get a feel of the product. I think it's better when I've tried it a few times and then review it but then sometimes obviously I do a full on first impression review. But Cashew seems like an alright shade, I wouldn't have gone for that, I would have probably gone for Banana but this is more neutral bit peachy as well i thought i might as well use my fenty foundation and primer today um obviously i don't use this as much right now because i'm at my playlist and this is very very orange on me right now because it oxidizes in summer this was my best friend i literally i've only got this much left it's right there same thing goes for my pro filter primer i love this stuff like you can go swimming and this will not come off like i was sweating i remember there was the hottest day in london and I'd go to an event wore this and literally my makeup did not budge i get really sweaty on my upper lip i was just sweating overall and it just didn't budge the pro filter is right there so i'm definitely gonna have to restock on these and maybe get a lighter shade for sure because 330 is definitely my summer shade so i might be mixing it a bit with like a lighter foundation So I've gone straight on the Fenty Beauty website and I'm just going to search up what it says on the concealer. Of course this is the Pro Filter Concealer, it says it's long wear, light as air and crease proof. A creamy long wear crease proof liquid concealer that delivers light as air medium to full coverage in a groundbreaking range of 50 easy to shop soft matte shades, I mean like 50 shades. 50 shades we can all agree that she has killed it in the game for shades okay whether whether you're hiding bags and blemishes or hangovers and bad decisions your secret safe with Fro pro filter instant retouch concealer instantly brightening under eyes concealing blemishes and dark spots and reducing redness now they do say that the concealers are already tailored to match the foundation shade so because i wear 330 in the foundation i should be buying the 330 concealer fenty beauty is 100 percent cruelty free yay it lasts all day without creasing or settling into fine lines or pores sweat resistant and i do kind of believe that because her foundation is definitely sweat resistant so I've got four shades here, 300, 310, 330 and 345. To be honest, these do look darker in the swatch photo, that the official swatch photo on the arms that they have than in real life. Because in the photo, I thought I was going to... I thought I was going to buy like 310 or 330, but 310 is super light. So this is 300. I'm just going to do it under my eyes. 300. We've now got 310. See, 310 is definitely more yellow, for sure. Now this is my shade 330. But because like I'm super pale right now, it doesn't do much much because it does get a little bit darker when I apply it. But that is 330. It's the closest match I would say. Then we have 345. I didn't think this was gonna be as yellow. Like it's almost a mustard shade. Almost. Probably can't tell on camera, but it's super like yellow. I think this would be good if you like NC40 for 33, uh, 300 or 310. But I like to mix this, this, and this. I'm gonna let that sit a bit and see if this does oxidize for real. Because I'm gonna do a fresh swatch of 330. 
Now these do retail for £19 and you get 8ml of product in this and I think standard is 6ml for concealers. So you're getting more than usual for your concealer and the price is not bad. A lot of high-end concealers cost around £22 to be honest, some even 30 if you're really pushing it. But I think the price is not bad, like I think her price point is really spot on for like the quality of the products. I mean she could have easily charged higher and people would have still bought them but you know I think she really priced it really well. Does it oxidize? Let's try with 300. I think it oxidizes a little bit. Maybe a tad bit. So we're gonna take some three three zero first trying it with a brush. I've seen quite a few people use this with a brush. The doe foot applicator is really soft. I always like that. I don't want no scratchy doe foot applicator. And when you like feel the concealer, it's like very soft for sure. To be honest, 330 isn't that bad. It's like slightly lighter. Right, so that's one side done. Damn. I'm going to take a dollop of 310. And then just brighten a little bit. There we go. And it's definitely buildable, like even though I put that shade on top, like it blended seamlessly on top of the other shade, didn't go cakey um, or anything like that. Now, we're going to try the other side with a beauty blender and see if it blends any differently. So again, I'm going to take 330. Just going to... Blend that. I definitely prefer that with a beauty blender. I'm just gonna finish this side. When I blended it with a concealer, I definitely saw a difference between the two sides. This literally took any excess product, obviously, and just smoothed it. Like this, obviously, looked like it looked a bit more bumpy. If that makes sense. Okay, let's take, quickly take some powder. It's huge. I didn't think it was going to be this big. It's almost as big as the Kat Von D one. The powder is £24. By the way, you can get these from Harvey Nichols. So this says it's a retouching setting powder. Super fine, insanely silky, loose powder. Sets and extend makeup wear, working all day to blur the look of pores, fine lines and imperfections for a hyper smooth filter that didn't come to play. When I used it yesterday, I definitely just set it with a little bit of powder. So this is what cashew looks like. It's darker than I thought, to be honest. But it's still lighter than my skin. It's very neutral though. So I'm just going to use a brush. I don't want to really bake with it, to be honest. I feel like that definitely took away some of the brightness of my concealer. It's definitely darker. So I just wanted to show you a close up of my skin. This is what my under eyes are looking like. So it is creasing a little bit, but I think overall that's quite nice. When I wore this yesterday, it definitely does crease throughout the day. I can't say it's fully crease proof like my Tarte Shape Tape, but obviously Tarte Shape Tape 
every concealer creases on me, but Tarte Shape is Tarte Shape Tape is very minimal to none. Like you can barely see it, and I don't have to worry about it throughout the day. Whilst this, I had to kind of go like this. I mean even setting with powder it does still feel a little bit sticky like it's more of a dewy it has that dewy feel like that wet feel to the concealer it's not like a very dry concealer basically I think the coverage is really good the blendability is amazing it can definitely build but I feel like the creasing is still like there kind of but anyways I'm just gonna quickly do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back right guys I'm back so to be honest, I really like the way my makeup looks right now. Like every time I put Fenty in my face, like I'm so happy like with the way it just looks. Like my skin looks really flawless. I didn't put too much foundation and I feel like it still looks kind of natural. So I feel like, first of all, this is the wrong shade for me. I could use this all over my face, but not for under my eyes. It's really, I think there's like a soft sheen to it. It's pigmented, but it's, there's not much, it doesn't do much for, like really setting it and mattifying it in my opinion it does feel really really soft but i don't know it just didn't do anything to set my concealer i'm a bit you know i, I don't know how i feel about the powder but the concealers are really really nice they're definitely medium to full coverage you can definitely build upon them very easy to blend they don't really have a scent just really easy to apply they've got good packaging a good dough for applicator they're reasonably priced and they've got good 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 shade range i think for the powders you're getting amazing value for money these are 28 grams 28 grams for 24 pounds just to compare to one of my other favorites which is the kat von d loose setting powder so that one you get 19 grams for 22 pounds and that is a big tub that you get for kat von d huda beauties as well is quite big and you get 20 grams i don't know how much these are I think they're a bit more pricier to be honest but this is this is definitely one of my favorite like powders out there but i'm around the nc43 so just for reference and i'll put other like concealer shades that i use and foundation shades that i use 330 and 310 gave me like the right amount of brightness that i usually want i wouldn't be able to use 345 it's definitely too dark 350 would definitely be too dark i think 350 would be good to highlight for nc45 to highlight though could almost be your skin tone shade but I think if you want the skin tone shade, maybe go around to like 370, which looks a bit golden. But definitely 300, 310 around NC40 shade. Just to give you guys an idea, I know it's really hard to like access Harvey Nichols and try them out. So I know a lot of you depend on these reviews to find yourself a shade. But I'm going to come back. I'm going to wear this for the whole rest of the day. It's now 6.30. 6.36 to be exact. I've been awake since 5.30. I need some coffee now. <laughs> I'm going to go to work and wear this for the rest of the day, probably a bit more than 12 hours. And we're going to see how this looks. I mean, I think it'll, it'll, be, it'll still be good, you know. Alright guys, I'm now back. It's now 7.01pm. Now looking at my face, like overall, it looks nice, you know, it looks even. But when you really go close up. I feel like the powder does not really like my skin like because when I used the concealer yesterday I literally used the tiniest amount of powder like literally the tiniest amount it wasn't even like covered on the whole brush and I just lightly set it, set it because lately I haven't been wearing powder on my concealer um, and it would wore throughout the day really well like it stayed smooth but here if I show you close up it's really separating I don't know, I feel like it looks nice, but I wish this could have worn better, but I like the concealer because I have tried it already and I got, I, I know it can work, but as soon as I put more powder of their powder, like it doesn't really want to set properly and it's separating. My skin's really, really dry. It gets so, so, so dry during winter. And so this foundation, I feel like, um, and this powder is too dry for my skin. That's why I'm not wearing much powder lately. Um, but I do like the concealer and yesterday they worked fine so I'm going to keep using that and I'm happy with that. It's definitely not better than the Tarte Shape Tape. I can't say that it's completely crease proof because it isn't. It's definitely creased under my eyes. I'll probably rate this concealer a 7 out of 10. It's good price, good amount of product, good packaging, good shade range. And it really brightens, got good full coverage. And the only downside I would say is the creasing. And... 
that's it I do have to use two shades which is a shame like I don't have the right right shade that I would like to have but to be honest I could use 330 during summertime when I'm in tan my, when I'm tan and I do feel like overall Fenty products are better on me during the summer when I sweat a lot I will still be using the concealer I'm just gonna have to use it more update the info box for you guys all right guys it's now the next day i had to come back and just check up on you guys because i just felt like yesterday i just kept saying oh the other day i wore the concealer and it wasn't like this and i want to actually show you guys that you know the concealer's you know quite good on its own without the fenty beauty powder because you can tell i'm not a fan of it it does not work on my skin at all but like literally it's what seven o'clock in the evening i've been wearing this without powder since six i know i'm wearing the same shirt this is one of my work shirts okay just ignore that i'm wearing how old is in my previous video okay just don't mind me um but yeah it's been well over 12 hours i haven't been wearing powder it does crease a little bit this is my face after please mind the background noise as my brother and his friends watching tv and this is just going to be a quick check-in but yeah it's been well over 12 hours that i've been wearing this and it's i'm pretty happy with the way my face looks like it looks so soft it's creased a little bit and i'm going to show you guys but it's overall bright in my under eyes concealed the way i wanted to i'm not going to say like it's full full coverage because i put a lot and it's like medium medium to full you could even say it's nothing like tart shape tape it's very dewy um but i kind of like that because my skin's super dry right now right now i can see slight slight creasing but if you compare like the bottom part to my top lid where i don't put concealer you can see like it's really brightened it's concealed you know medium to full coverage and i just wanted to show you guys that it can work on its own like it's not a bad concealer as because yesterday my under eyes look really really terrible like the powder does not like my skin it was separating everything it was in it was, i had pores that i never even knew i had and on top of that my skin's super 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 dry and flaky lately and it's not helping that so I kind of like that this concealer is a bit dewy so and also I wear glasses so it was really bad here yesterday oh my god but anyways I, I didn't even want to take my glasses off because my under eyes were looking crazy but today it was totally fine even my glasses they were fine and yeah I'm just really happy like this is I love my skin natural like this and yeah I, the only thing i do have to say is that i don't have an exact shade that i really like in the fenty beauty concealer range and that's so weird considering the fact that they have 50 shades but i just don't have one that fits me perfectly so i think that's a downside the slight creasing is a downside and long wear i think it's long wearing because literally i haven't put powder no powder whatsoever and it's still there so i'm really happy with that it is long wearing but i just feel that you can't claim that it's cream crease proof because it does crease creasing i don't mind to be honest i just go like this i'm not too bothered but if you don't like that then i don't think this concealer may be for you if you have really really dry under eyes um i think you would like this but don't 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 use the powder okay don't use the powder if you're super oily i'm not sure if you'll like it because it's quite a dewy concealer but i feel like i'm really happy i did this because yesterday i was feeling funny because i thought i was going crazy like the day before i wore the concealer with the tiniest amount of powder and it was fine and to be honest it works even better without any powder from the Fenty Beauty range I haven't really tried it with a different powder so maybe it would be even better with that but just so you guys know it can work I'm quite happy with the concealer I'm glad I got to try it and review, review it for you guys I think I will give the concealer still a 7 out of 10 just because of like the creasing and the fact I don't have a shade for myself like an exact shade I have to use 330 and 310 mix them to get a night get to get this but look it looks nice and i have to, didn't have to worry about my under eyes all day apart from when i went to the toilet i just went like that you know just to kind of you know take away the creasing but it wasn't that much i'm telling you guys it wasn't even that much but again for 19 for a high-end concealer for 19 pounds you would think it wouldn't crease but then there's some like my kevin aquan concealer kind of creases a little bit so it just happens it's a normal thing let me know what you guys think and if you've tried like the powder if you had the same experience or if you like the concealer if you tried it i'm really curious to know i hope i'm not like i feel like this review is all over the place but i had to do this i had to check in today because i'm really happy with the way this looks today